Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over here on lag.com. This is a game called Circlo O, and this is sort of like a puzzle platformer style game. It's not really quite a platformer, it's more of like a ball rolling puzzle game. I'll have to show you guys exactly what I mean, but in this we take control of a ball and we're able to roll around this stage. You can't jump, but you can use your momentum to sort of like launch off of different objects and things to try to get to the goal circle which expands the field that you play in in each level it's very very cool it's very unique i'll show you guys right now exactly what i mean i'm sure it sounds very confusing level one let's go so use the left and right arrow keys to move collect seven circles to complete the level so we're this big circle here in the middle and i can roll back and forth and sort of use physics use momentum here to my advantage so boom, got to get that little circle and I got it right away that time. And then you sort of got all these other things in the way, these little pieces of terrain that block you and you just sort of have to move over them. So there I gathered some momentum by swinging back and you just sort of do this back and forth until you can get to that goal circle. Now this is the first stage, so it's very easy. And if you, uh, you launch yourself off the wall by hitting the left arrow or the right arrow when you're like high up enough on it. You can get up here onto like different platforms. So you sort of have like a higher vantage point. So that's kind of cool. That's a really cool thing in this game is that physics definitely plays a part in uh, you getting to your goal each time and traversing the environment. And then once you zoom out enough, you see the full big, big circle. And that's the end of that level. And you move on to the next one. Obviously, from the way that I'm describing it, I've played a little bit of this one before. I've actually not played this one. I've played its sequel, Circle 002, which is just as fun and just as cool. But this one, I've never given a try to this one directly. So very excited to tackle the puzzles in it. So there you guys saw barely clung to the side of that cluster of three right here. This like sort of looks like Mickey Mouse's ears. I clung to the side of it and I was able to sort of like jump over some ground to get to my goal. So there I had to just use my momentum to get across. Boom. Another one, nice and easy. This is the type of puzzle game I really like because it does require some thinking. Like here, I can't get past this thing here. There's no way I can physically move past that. So what I got to do is try to swing up here, get on top of this stuff, and then I fell, but you saw that I kind of traversed across the level. And I just did it with as much momentum as I can. Oh, barely stuck to the side of that big one. I really got to get to the, the side of that one harder. There we go. And then boom. Go, go over to the other side of things. Wow, that one was easy. That was really, really easy. But I love these types of uh, puzzle games because they're really simplistic, but they're very hard to master and they're very calming because there's not like a time limit or anything like that. It's a little bit frustrating to try to push yourself through the terrain and stuff and figure out the exact solution. But there also is a lot of room for creativity. You know, you don't need the exact, exact solution. Sometimes there's different things you can do that lead to the same outcome of getting the goal circle. So these are like really relaxing to me. Like this one, I'm just like pushing my way up this ramp. And then I use that little dot on the far right there to just sort of launch myself up to the top of this platform. Allows me to swing back around and this time ugh, just push myself over and then I get stuck down there. But if I push myself all the way up here, I can use that little dot again and you can sort of like reuse, you know, solutions that you did in previous little segments of the level. Like it's not like the things go away. All that happens is the field of your view expands so you can keep using the same tools, the same little ramps that you find over and over again to keep reaching higher and higher heights like here. Uh, what we want to do is we'll get stuck there, but then we can go all the way back up here and then that dot on the far end allows me to launch up there. Then we got to do this all over again. But this is the kind of thing I like this because it flexes my brain, but at the same time, it's nice and calming and you get these like cool, weird sort of artsy looking rewards at the end there like that's kind of cool to be able to see the whole level like that now in this one it's gonna be a little bit harder because there's moving dots so there's other balls besides me they're moving back and forth and i have to keep their momentum in mind and try to get out of their way as much as possible and make sure that they're not blocking me too much so what we're gonna do is try to jump over them like that by using the walls to sort of like do a little bit of parkour ball parkour really is what it is <laughs> so you can push those back down and those will allow me to sort of like push into them 
and then get, uh, yep, a little bit of height by jumping off of them. And you'll see they're sort of in a row there, so I can use them as almost like an artificial ramp because of the way that their shape is, uh, is um, where it's like biggest to smallest. But we're not going to have to use them because we're just going to launch like that all the way across there. That's so cool. So awesome that it's like momentum based. Um, very, very cool stuff because it allows me to just launch myself get where I want to go. Oh no, I don't want to, I see, I don't want to get up on top of those ones. Cause if I'd gotten over the hump of the biggest one, I would have been trapped behind him again. Would have had to swing all the way back around. It looks a lot more complicated than it is. Actually, it probably looks simple, but it probably sounds a lot more complicated than it is. This is the type of game that really can zen you out. I definitely recommend anyone who's looking for a good puzzle game to give this a try. But I love these types of puzzles. We're gonna do uh, at least a couple more levels here, I think. Um, because I'm in the mood to solve some stuff, uh, to just push my way through here. Uh, you can sort of like push around your terrain, like that ball allowed me to like jump over the top there. Nice and easy, but now it's blocking my way. So what do I do? What do I do, guys? I have to use this little bumper to jump over the top like that. And then this one should be nice and easy. Just sort of, uh, yep, there we go. Get up on top of that. Uh, and then this one, I think it's going to be all the way on the far right from the way that the level is set up. I don't know though, because like I said, I've never done these levels before, but we can sort of like do a little bit of ball park parkour all across the level here. Try to find out exactly where we need to go. Get some more speed this way, because I think, yeah, I saw a ramp up here. Nice and easy. Uh, Bam, okay, yeah, allow me to get up here. That's nice. Sort of shake myself back and forth so that I can get across there, because I feel like, yep, Circle is going to be all the way over there. That one was hard to get to. That was actually a really nice challenge in that one. Ooh, this one's got like a million tiny little things that are in my way. This could get kind of dicey because they, they roll all over the place. I have no idea. See, they're going to be launching all over. Sometimes they're going to help me probably. Sometimes they're going to hinder me a little bit. I just got to be really careful of those. So that one's all the way up there. Fortunately, they're nice and light, so I can just sort of push them wherever I want and grab the things that I need. Okay, ah, all right, almost, almost. I think we got enough speed this time around. Nope, that one actually blocked me a little bit. It's sort of the angles. You gotta, you gotta keep in mind what angles uh, things are at because they can really mess you up here. Ah, there we go, got enough speed. Okay, so now we wanna launch over, launch over that and then go on the back side. There we go, got another one. Boom, that one, okay, that level was actually a lot easier than the last one. That one felt really good. That was a nice, quick, and smooth. Ooh, we got suspendy things that are, oh, cool. Oh, it's like a suspension bridge. It's like a big old wrecking ball there in the middle of stuff. That's quite, kinda neat. I like that. All right, Ugh, I think I gotta, I think what I gotta do is push this hard enough. So, or wait, no, I think I gotta let it roll back and then I gotta try to, yeah jump on top of it so that I can use it to to push me up. Okay. Oh, this one's all the way around, huh? Uh, okay, I don't think I can actually get enough momentum to go all the way on top, but oh, nice. It was like an actual suspension bridge. That was really cool. That was very, very cool. This one, I got to slow down to get through there. And then I got to allow myself to, oh man, what am I supposed to do on this one? I can't jump, so I guess I got to, Oh, I used the little dangly thing to, to sort of hop up there and, and get myself some extra speed. There we go. Or extra bounce, I guess. Oh, I think I see what I got to do on this one. It's going to be tough. Okay, there we go. Nope, it wasn't as tough as I thought it was going to be. And then, boom. Okay, that's cool. It's in, uh, introducing like new gameplay mechanics in it as the game goes on, which are uh, sort of challenging, but at the same time, very, very cool as well. So... I like that. I, I really do like that a lot. So this is this is all about intuition. That's the type of game this is. This is very much about intuition. Anyone can really just pick this up and play it and uh, probably do as well as me, if not better. I'm not the best at this type of game. I just like to like to keep going, keep trying every solution I can until I win. Oh, man, I, I really like the physics in this game, though. I, I like how physical everything is you can bump into stuff you can knock it over you can launch off of things you can uh, swing back and forth to get momentum you can fly off the wall things like that it's really neat very cool stuff okay yeah there we go got up on our suspension bridge boom i didn't think we were going to make that last jump there for a second but we did we managed to oh man here we go big old launch maybe oh that oh that 
That ball got in the way a lot, but fortunately we had that little peg there to jump up. Just hop up, grab the thing that we needed. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. All right. Here we go. Swing on and up. Getting more momentum. Oh, man. I think, see, I think, yeah, I don't think we can get up high enough. We have to use these things to hop on over. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, a little bit misleading. I think that's sort of the point of the game, though, is is it's uh, very misleading, some of the levels. Like, it looks like it's a straightforward solution, but there's... It's not, you know, it's not at all. Okay. Oh, come on. That's like right there. I think that, I think this is another misleading one. I think what I got to do is uh, swing up and then over. Oh, nope. That's not what I want to do. But if I keep doing this, maybe I'll get, oh, I missed it. I want to get on that upper platform so bad. Uh, the problem is, is if I go up too high here. Okay, there we go. You just got to start moving over to the left sooner. Those, uh, those two balls that were hanging in, in the air there were blocking me completely, which was a big old bummer. All right, launch. No, okay. I, I got the right idea, though. I got to, yep, skip, skip a Rooney right over all that stuff. And then this one, I think, was all the way down here. Yep, nice and easy. Oh, my. Those, <laughs> those are cool. They're like wind chimes. They kind of, like, slow me down. I think I got to use them, though. Yeah, they slow my descent as I was going through them. So even though they didn't completely stop me and act as, like, a full bridge, I still was able to sort of skip over those hanging down things. That was so cool. That was really, really well done. This is a cool game because, once again, like I said, you get to use your brain a little bit, but it's also, like, so nice and chill. You can just sit back, relax, try your best at all of these puzzles. But I just showed you guys a preview of what to expect in this game there's a lot more levels that you can jump into there's even hard levels that you can unlock which i'm sure are just equally relaxing and frustrating but obviously we didn't get to those yet those were just the standard ones if you guys want to try out the other standard ones and try the hard levels as well this game is just definitely worth checking out but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please 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 check this game out over here on lag.com and as always it was great seeing ya. Bye-bye.